to Kill a Mockingbird Part 1 test. This is multiple choice, choose the best answer. Question number one, what is the name of the town and state where the story takes place? A, Maycomb, Georgia, B, Montgomery, Alabama, C, Maycomb, Alabama, or D, Montgomery, Arkansas? Question two, during what significant era in American history does the story take place? A, the Great Reconstruction, B, the Great Depression, C, the early 1940s, or D, the late 1830s? Question three, who is the protagonist of the story? A, Jem, B, Boo, C, Atticus, or D, Scout? Question four, the treasures left in the tree and the mended plants relate to someone. Given this, they are examples of what literary element? A, metaphor, B, foreshadowing, C, allusion, or D, illusion. Question five, the method that Harper Lee uses to tell the story is called what? A, third person omniscient, B, foreshadowing, C, symbolism, or D, flashback. Question six, how old is Scout at the beginning of the novel? A, 10, B, seven, C, almost six, or D, almost five. Question seven, how old is Jem at the beginning of the novel? A, almost 15, B, six, C, 14, or D, 10. Question eight, who is Atticus defending in the trial? A, Mr. Cunningham, B, Bob Ewell, C, Mr. Radley, or D, Tom Robinson. Question nine, what is the usual disease that Atticus doesn't want Scout and Jem to catch? A, pneumonia, B, malaria, C, racism, or D, smallpox. Question 10, who tells Jem not to shoot mockingbirds? A, Atticus, B, Miss Stephanie Crawford, C, Calpurnia, or D, Mrs. DuBose? Question 11, why is Boo so feared? A, because he is a murderer. B, because he is insane. C, no one knows much about him or D, all of the above. Question 12, who was locked up in the courthouse basement? A, Walter Cunningham, B, Bob Ewell, C, Boo Radley, or D, Cecil Jacobs? Question 13, what life lesson is represented by the quote, you need to crawl into their skin and walk around in it? A, you should not disagree. B, you should have consideration and compassion for others. C, people should be more like snakes. Or D, you should be more responsible. Question 14, who is the friendly neighbor that gives the kids good advice? A, Miss Maudie, B, Mrs. DuBose, C, Nathan Radley, or D, Mr. Avery?
Question 15, unknowingly blaming a Negro for being in the Radley collared patch suggests that many people in Maycomb are what? A, believe that Miss Stephanie Crawford knows everything. B, believe whatever Mr. Radley says. C, are racist. Or D, none of the above. Question 16, who fires a shotgun towards Jem? A, Boo, B, Nathan Radley, C, Mr. Avery, or D, the Sheriff? Question 17, what happens to Scout during the fire? A, she suffers from smoke inhalation, B, Boo puts a blanket on her, C, she goes into the house to help Miss Maudie, or D, all of the above. Question 18, Atticus says that it's important to follow one's conscience because A, we have to be accountable for our actions. B, it's important to do the right thing. C, he actually says that it is a poor guide or D, both A and B. Question 19, why does Atticus say that he is defending Tom? A, he needs to keep his business. B, it will make him a lot of money. C, the judge will threaten him if he doesn't. Or D, it is the right thing to do. <sighs> Question 20, how do Scout and Jem view their father throughout most of part one? A, he is a great man who can do anything. B, he is not very smart. C, he can't do anything. Or D, he is a poor lawyer. Question 21, what happens to Tim Johnson? A, he gets hit by a car. B, he gets arrested and put in jail. C, he gets in a fight with Scout, or D, Atticus shoots him. Question 22, why does Atticus admire Mrs. DuBose? A, because she has courage. B, because she is committed to racial equality. C, because of her pleasant demeanor. Or D, she is a proud Confederate. Question 23, what family is considered poor, uneducated, and disrespectful? A, the Finches, B, the Ewells, C, the Robinsons, or D, the Cunninghams? Question 24, what life lesson does Atticus pass along to Jem in regards to Mrs. DuBose? A, don't listen to old people. They usually don't know what's going on. B, don't destroy her flowers ever again. C, Jem has to read to Mrs. DuBose. Or D, always do your best to maintain self-control when others upset you. Question 25. One could make an inference at this point that the quote about not killing or harming mockingbirds most likely relates to what? A, Walter Cunningham, B, Jem, C, Tom Robinson, or D, both A and C. Question 26. 